I love my mom. Truly, I do. She's never shown me anything but love, although she's tempered it by criticism perhaps once too often. She believes in me, I think, although she's not exactly averse to pointing out that I'd be better off if I did things her way. She's a kind, generous person. At least, that is, to those she doesn't consider to be in competition with her for some vaguely defined goal, or else watch out. She'll carry a grudge to the grave. She may be stiff and formal and sometimes overly concerned with the observance of proper behavior, but she's also adventurous and well-traveled, and above all, her love of her children knows no bounds. I do love my mother. I just wish she weren't bearing down on me at this moment, face beaming, arms outstretched. Surprise, darling, she cried. It was a surprise, all right. My heart sank into my stomach, and I forced out a smile of my own. I'd been living in the Outer Banks of North Carolina for a short time, making a new life for myself away from the social responsibility of my parents' circle in Boston. And here she was. Hi, Mom, I said as I was enveloped in a hug. It was a real hug, too, hearty and all-embracing, complete with vigorous slaps on the back. When it came to her children, Mom allowed herself to forget she was a Boston society matron. I loved her for that, too. I pulled myself out of the embrace. What are you doing here, Mom? I've come for a short vacation and to see how you're settling in. She lifted her arms to indicate not only the Outer Banks, but the Lighthouse Library, where I worked and lived. Isn't this charming? I haven't been in this building since it was renovated. You were here before it became a library? I asked with some astonishment. When the historic Body Island Lighthouse had no longer been needed for its original function as a manually operated light, it had slowly crumbled into disrepair. Then, in a stroke of what I considered absolute genius, it was renovated and turned into a public library. High above, the great First Order Fresnel lens flashed in the night to guide ships at sea, while down below, books were read and cherished. Of course I was, Mom said. Oh, I can remember some wild nights, let me tell you, sneaking around in the dark, trying to break into the lighthouse, up to all sorts of mischief. She must have read something in my face. I was young once, Lucy, although it sometimes seems like another lifetime.'